You may be wondering if McDonald's fries are actually made with real potatoes. In fact, there's a lot going on in making those crispy, golden and delicious fries. Today's video we will see some factors that contribute to the preparation of a perfect French fries and other food processing factory. Before starting the video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. The process begins with trucks unloading pounds of fresh potatoes onto a conveyor belt at the factory. Each load must meet strict quality standards. Most of these fries are made from British potatoes that gives the best flavor and have that long shape when cut. The plant also adds chemicals to keep the potatoes a uniform light yellow color. They then pass through another rock remover where they are skinned, washed, and placed in an appliance that cuts them into fries for less than a minute. Before getting frozen they are blanched in precisely maintained 90 degrees water for about 10 minutes to allow for a soft interior. Following this they are sent to the freezer, which has a temperature of minus 39 degrees, and stored for 20 minutes. At the end of the process, the fries are packaged and shipped to McDonald's restaurants across the country, where the frozen strips are cooked in oil and salted. The procedure for making the burger bun consists of mixing flour and water with a little sugar. Their production demands flours with a high protein content and soft gluten, followed by a division in the form of balls of dough which will then be deposited in a mold. The buns are glazed with pea protein and some are dusted with sesame seeds before they hit the 200 degrees oven for about 10 minutes. Cool the sliced buns to core temperature. At the end of the process, the buns are packaged and shipped to McDonald's restaurants where toasters brown them in 22 seconds flat, so they are always ready to wrap around your burger. McDonald's beef patties are made from 100% ground beef, formed into hamburger patties. Inside the factory, the meat is minced, molded and frozen to maintain its quality and flavor. It takes 400,000 pounds a day of 100% pure meat to make 3 million burgers a day. It takes 30 minutes for the meat to go from grinding to finished pure beef patties that go into the instant freezer. ketchup with fries and just about anything that we can think of to complement our meals. The ketchup making process begins where the tomato paste boxes weighing 1,300 kilograms are transported from the warehouse using automated forklifts. Tomato varieties are developed that they are superior in color, flavor and texture. Consistency is an important factor, since the slight variations in tomato characteristics may alter the taste and color of the finished product.
The tomatoes are sorted, washed, and chopped. Next pre-cooking in stainless steel vats preserves the tomatoes and destroys bacteria. The tomato paste is typically manufactured using the hot break method. With this method, pulp tomatoes are heated to 90 degree. The chopped and pre-cooked tomatoes are pumped into pulping machines, or cyclones, which separate seeds, skins, and stems from the pulp. The pulp and juice are filtered through screens and processed further into ketchup. After the paste has been extracted, it sits in a storage bin, where it's mixed with water to give it a smoother consistency. This makes it easier to transport to the storage tank. During this process the tomato paste is mixed with the vinegar, sugar and other ingredients and cooked together to form the desired consistency. During the cooking process water may be evaporated to concentrate the ketchup. The process is mainly about heating the ketchup and then cooling it down. Finally, the ketchup fill into the bottles. Containers are labeled and coated with product information, including ingredients and shelf life. The entire process of ketchup manufacturing generally takes two to three hours.